Ah, uh, Halloween. The season of haunted houses, scary decorations, going to Halloween stores, and stealing old people's candy that they leave out on their porch. These are some amazing reasons on why Halloween is the best holiday. I decided, hey, let's make a Halloween video for the first time ever. In honor of Halloween, we're going to be looking at some of the coolest and most scariest Halloween related easter eggs in video games. Now there's many other lists of Halloween related easter eggs on YouTube already, so what I'm going to try to do is avoid most of the other people's lists by not including the same stuff, so I apologize if there's something on on this list that you've already seen in someone else's list. Unfortunately, I don't know what you guys have seen, but I'm gonna try my best here. But without further ado, here are the scariest Halloween related Easter eggs in video games. <laughs> GTA Online. Now last year was the first time Rockstar Games introduced an event in GTA Online for Halloween. Now before that, they would use slasher missions to create a Halloween event, but last year and this year, they're going all out. For the first time ever last year, Rockstar Games implemented UFOs in the GTA Online that you could find at certain days of the week. Now these UFOs wouldn't carry much significance, but if you ever tried to shoot them down, attack them, or try to do any harm to them, they would damage your vehicle or kill you. Now the only instance of there being a UFO related event in GTA Online was during the bunker resupply missions. If you did over a thousand resupply missions, you would get a special one where you would have to go over the Fort Zancudo and explore a crashed UFO site in which you would pick up an alien egg, then the military would chase you down and you would have to get it back to your bunker in one piece. But the chance of somebody doing a thousand resupply missions is very very slim. So this was a good way to make all gamers experience the fear of UFOs, especially when they are hovering around the map. But that wasn't all last year had to offer in GTA Online. They also introduced slashers and a ghost car. With all the UFOs, slashers, and ghost cars hunting you down, this definitely made GTA Online a very scary place to explore during last Halloween. It was by far one of Rockstar's best updates to GTA Online. There were four slashers that could spawn in at random and attack you. There was the driver, that represented a dead race car driver. The clown, which basically represented the clown craze in 2016 to 2017 with all the killer clowns. The sack slasher, that basically represented a person in a jumpsuit wearing a sack over its head. And then the psycho, which was wearing a very scary mask and a normal outfit. All these slashers would spawn at random locations and attack the player, but by far the scariest one of them all wasn't even a slasher it was the ghost car. This would also spawn at random, but most of the time would actually be able to get the jump on the player and kill them. This is what it looks like and sounds like when the ghost car spawns in. Five Nights at Freddy's In Five Nights at Freddy's 4, there was a major Halloween update that was released the first year the game was out. The update changed the appearances of most animatronics and gave them more of a spooky Halloween feel. Now this was one of the first major updates in the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. If you were to play the first, second, and third game on Halloween, a pumpkin would spawn in your office, accompanied by some Halloween lights hanging in the corner of your room. Now the first game has an easter egg within this update slash easter egg. You can see the pumpkin is actually a watermelon which is relating to the very popular animated series, Gravity Falls. This is a reference to one of the episodes where the kids celebrate Summerween instead of Halloween, where instead of using pumpkins for jack-o'-lanterns, they used watermelon. Most people don't know about this easter egg, including myself, but most knew about the FNAF 4 update since it heavily changed the game so much and gave most of the animatronics a new appearance. So I thought this was pretty cool for Scott Cawthon to include. Batman Arkham Knight. The Batman Arkham series has always delved into the horror aspect of Batman. Every game has a very creepy feel to it, whether it being in the atmosphere, especially like in Batman Arkham Asylum, 
or with the Riddler challenges in all games. Batman has always been horror adjacent. So that means the Easter eggs in these games bring themselves victim to also being creepy. But two out of the four games in the franchise actually have a Halloween related Easter egg. But I'm going to include the Batman Arkham Knight one since this one is probably the scariest out of two and well the game takes place on Halloween. Playing the game during Halloween with the story 100% completed, if you go to the GCPD and go the Man Bat cell, you will see that the glass is shattered and there's a police officer standing next to the scene. Once interacting with the police officer, he will tell you that Man Bat has escaped again and that you have to go chase him down. While you're out exploring, trying to find Man Bat, if you grapple onto an edge of a building, you'll get this terrifying jump scare. <laughs> With there not being much to do after the game is completed, this is a little nice side quest that the creators put into the game to give it some replayability. Call of Duty Cold War Now the Call of Duty franchise has multiple references, hidden secrets, and easter eggs in literally almost every single one of the games. From the campaign, multiplayer, and zombie game modes, there is multiple hidden things that you can find. But in Call of Duty Cold War, around Halloween time in the popular map Newtown, inside of one of the garages you can find a bucket of Halloween candy. Now players have speculated what this candy could be for, since it's such a small minor detail to be added into the game. It seems like it would be more of a hassle to actually add it in than to not add anything in the game at all. People had tried to see if this was an easter egg or something bigger, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a nice innocent bucket of candy, but that's not really scary, so we're gonna go to the next easter egg. Call of Duty Ghost. Now, if you're a longtime fan of the Call of Duty franchise, you might already know the easter egg I'm about to talk about, and this easter egg is probably one of my favorite in all of the Call of Duty games. Most people wouldn't consider this an easter egg, but I would say it is. But I would say it shocked a lot of fans when this was seen on the map for the first time. On the map fog in the Onslaught DLC, if you get a field order, there's a very rare chance that you will throw a care package and you will receive a Michael Myers outfit. It similarly functions to the Juggernaut. You're much tough for the kill, but you have only a melee weapon which is a bloody axe. I never played Ghost, but personally this was one of the reasons I wanted to buy Ghost because I was such a big horror fan and still am, but I thought this was a really cool easter egg to include. But that's the end of our list. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to show support. Go check out some of my other videos that are also related to Halloween and horror. If there were any Easter eggs you wanted to see on this list that I could have missed, please comment them down below. What was your favorite Easter egg that I mentioned? Have a great Halloween and I'll see you guys next time.